baby. Mm, what's the matter? <laughs> Don't lie. I can tell that something's wrong. You wear your emotions on your face, even when you don't mean to. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. I thought so. Just feeling down? I'm sorry, baby. Uh, oh, me? Not much. Just trying to get some work done before... <laughs> okay, and now I'm on your lap. <laughs> What's up, baby? Mm -hmm. Oh, you've been feeling lonely lately? I guess I have been extra busy lately with work and stuff. I'm sorry. I sometimes forget how my work schedule can affect you. <laughs> I'm really not doing anything too exciting. Just going through some papers that need to be looked at before Monday, but I have my clipboard here, so I can still do it from your lap. <laughs> Honestly, you'll probably make getting all of this work done a little less boring. <laughs> Maybe we could do something fun together tomorrow? I know it's Saturday, but we still have one full day of weekend left and a lot that we could do. We could go out together for a nice lunch or supper. We could check out that new plant store that opened up a few minutes away from our place. Or I could kick your ass at It Takes Two for the hundredth time as well if you're feeling like being humbled. <laughs> what? I can't help that I'm like way better at the game than you. <laughs> but really though, could we maybe head to the new plant store? My Christmas cactus could really use a couple of new friends. Please? You know how much I want to turn our house into a jungle. <laughs> what? It's good for your lungs to have an abundance of plants in your home. It's also good for your mental health. So you basically have no argument as to why we can't go and why I can't buy about five to ten more new plants. Just saying. <laughs> Ugh, these papers are so boring. Will you help me go through them, baby? Please. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've already looked at these ones. Would you mind just putting them into piles based on what you feel is the most important? Honestly, anything that you can do to help me sort through this mess would be much appreciated. You're doing great, babe. Those piles look wonderful. I wish you were that good at organizing our house. <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry. I was only joking. I guess I'm just a bit stressed tonight and I'm taking it out on you a little bit when I really shouldn't be. I appreciate you for always putting up with me. Yes, I'm almost done. <sighs> well... This one is about safety in the workplace. This one is about my CPR training course, and this one is about proper workplace procedures. Man, who knew that starting a new job meant so much paperwork about mine and others' well-being? <laughs> okay, so apparently you knew. Let me complain in peace, baby, would you? What did you get up to today anyways? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? That's actually kind of funny. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That sounds a hell of a lot more exciting than my day, if I'm being honest with you, babe. 
maybe next time you go out, you could bring me with you. Honestly, I could use a break from all of this once in a while. I know it's only temporary, but it feels like this whole paperwork phase is going to last forever. Yeah, I know it won't. Anyways, you told me that you'd been feeling lonely lately a few minutes ago. Do you want to talk about that a little bit more? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, baby. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm so sorry that I've been making you feel that way lately, my love. I would never want to make you feel any of those things. I guess I've kind of just been in my own world with the job hunt and beginning a new position, but it's not fair to you. You're a huge part of my life, much more important to me than any job is. I guess I just got excited about working again, but I really appreciate you telling me these things, honey. Honestly, from now on, I will work on being more attentive towards you. You know what? Forget this paperwork. Let's spend some time together. What would you like to do, baby? <laughs> of course I'd love to cuddle you. Silly. Maybe we could watch a movie or a show before bed? I know it isn't the healthiest thing to watch TV in bed, but I'm exhausted and could really use something to relax before bed, you know? <laughs> okay, maybe I don't need a TV to relax, but... Give me a moment to brush my teeth. I'll be right in, baby. Okay, let me just get changed here. Perfect. PJ shorts and my favorite t-shirt of yours. So, what kind of movie are you feeling like? Or are you feeling like starting a series? Maybe a movie for tonight? Got you, babe. What genre are we thinking? You know I'm always up for thrillers or dramas, anime. Hmm. Well, let's take a look. Now, come here and cuddle me. <laughs> Again, baby, I'm so sorry if I've been neglecting you and pooling all of my attention into job hunting and work. I guess once I get my mind on something, it's hard to focus on anything else. And that's not to say that you aren't important. I guess I just tend to have a one-track mind sometimes. <laughs> but... I'm so sorry that I've been making you feel lonely. I really want to make it up to you, my love. Starting tonight with some cuddles and a good movie. Maybe more to come later. <laughs> so, what do you think about Mabaroshi? It looks like a good anime movie. Here. A remote town faces a time freeze where change and strong emotions are forbidden. Seems kind of interesting to me. Let's add it to the list and keep going. <laughs> You're so warm, babe. Hmm. Or we could always watch Howl's Moving Castle for the millionth time. <laughs> what? It's my comfort movie. What if I get a little fire going in our fireplace? I won't make it big, I promise. Just enough to set the mood and keep us warm. I won't even add any more wood after I start it. Okay, let me get it going.
seems to be a good enough fire that should last about 30 minutes before we fall asleep. <laughs> Say what you want about this little dump of a rental, but the little wooden fireplace and chimney in the bedroom has come in handy multiple times when we forgot to pay the heating bill. <laughs> Scooch over, babe. Make some room. <sighs> so, what have you looked at so far? Drifting home? Let's see. A group of kids find themselves stranded on a mysterious sea and must work together to survive. Wow, that sounds really good, honey. Let's start it. 